making this video from home because it only felt right. It's a beautiful day. Sun shining in my old neighborhood. And I'm feeling great. That shit scared the hell out of me, that horn just now. <laughs> Quiet as hell, birds chirping, honk. Nah, I'm feeling good. And you gotta feel good. Keep relationships with people who are close to you. I know times are caught up and it's 2020 and we all stressed out here and we all trying to live our lives and survive and shit. But don't be afraid to cross a bridge that you haven't walked over in a long time. As long as you never burn that bridge, you're good. Good relationships is what keep us healthy inside. Something going on over there. Good relationships is what keeps us healthy inside. So the more we're stressed, the more we're depressed. If people are reaching out, don't be afraid to grab a hand. You're not weak. You're actually stronger for reaching out and grabbing the hand because one day that person might be down. They need your strength to uplift them in a way, shape, or form. So don't be afraid to reach out to people who have been in your life to help you out because eventually everyone needs help. And you might be the one to help them someday. One hand washes the other tiny kind of thing. And look at this guy going wild over here. What up, buddy? Man's best friend. My boy, Chiefy. But, <laughs> like I said, it's good knowing that there's people out there who support you. In all your dreams, your wishes, wish you the best of health. And even if you haven't spoken to these people or seen these people in a few years, few months, whatever, all year in 2020 for the case, just that one hour, that two hours, that five minute phone call, that 10 second text can make a difference of reaching out. You're still crossing that bridge to meet up at some point, you know? And that's the beauty of life is finding good people. Yeah, there's toxic energy out there, but don't let the toxicness of the environment around bring you down for who you are because there could be you could be that power plant that runs an entire fucking island because I'm on Long Island I'm saying that and it could be the most toxic environment around you but you keeping everybody alive by being the power source to everything everybody is their own individual power source I guess I don't know Am I even making sense or am I just talking some shit? I might just be talking shit because I feel good. It's a beautiful day. I'm feeling nostalgic. But we're all powerhouses. We all have power within. Plants. Nature. We're here. God given. The most powerful beings in nature. If you take us and you throw us in the wilderness, if you don't know how to survive, you might die. Same goes if you take a wild animal and you lock them in a house with all the windows and doors locked. If they don't break the windows or get out, or they, they're trapped inside and the doors are locked, they might starve. They don't know how to survive in our environment. They have the ability to hunt. We have the ability to hunt. In the Bible, it says that like we were made to rule over mankind, the domain. I'm not a very religious person, but it's true. Also, humans have a history of being very tribal. So find your tribe. Find the people who sit right with you. The people who are going to uplift you and unleash that power source within you. As you do the same for them. Become the ultimate beings that we are meant to be. As the sun is shining, God's saying, speak your truth, brother. And that's all I do. You can call it philosophical, explicit thoughts. Our time is now. Whatever you want. Our time is always now. I always speak explicit thoughts. It's what I do. Just know that you are a very special person. I am very special in my own ways, not to sound conceited. I do always seem to get in ruts of depression, of anxiety, this locked in my cage, in my brain. My mentality stays locked. But... I'm always willing to break through, to break out, to get past that. Y'all need to do that too. Reach out to the people who are most important for you. Life's too short. Enjoy life. Feels good being in my old neighborhood, seeing all my old neighbors, seeing where I grew up, seeing my old friends. The ones who are not here with us no more, rest their soul. The ones who I don't see no more, 
I still wish the best for y'all and the ones who are standing by my side now. God bless and peace to y'all. We still got many memories to create and we ain't stopping, baby. Our time is now. Salute. Much love.